Hello everyone and welcome to this Python for automation testing series and in this particular tutorial we will be learning about while loop so let's begin. So what is while loop? A while loop in Python repeats a block of code as long as the given condition is true. So let me write it down for you here as well. So basically it repeats a block of code as long as the given condition is true. So this means that if the condition becomes false, the loop stops. So if the condition becomes false, the loop stops. Okay. And now when we need to use a loop, because we know that there's a for loop and then we, we are now learning about the while loop. So what is the difference between the for and while and when why we need to use the while loop? So in the case of for, we know the exact number of iterations which needs to be executed. And in the case of while, when we don't know how many times a loop should run. So that's the difference because in the while we don't know. And unless the condition is true, it will keep executing. And once the condition will false, it will terminate the loop. That's why the syntax always start with like while and then first it will check a condition over here and then here it will run a block of code. Okay, so that's this how the while loop work and this is the basic syntax for the while loop here. Now let's go to the Python here and let me create a new file. I will name it as while loop. And let's start with the very basic example. So let me take num equals to one. Now while num is less than and equals to five. This is condition. Now this loop will keep executing when we are getting the true. And once we get the false from this statement, the loop will be terminated or the stop. Okay. So go to the body and here do the block of code. So I'm just printing the number over here. Okay. And now I'm doing some increment because when we are doing a loop, so, so that right now we have one, then I will be incrementing two, three, four, and this loop will keep running until unless this particular statement will get a false okay and here i will say num plus equals to one so that's a loop so the here we are incrementing the value and then keep checking keep checking and once this statement becomes false then it will not go to this block of the code and if i run this one so you will see that we have printed successfully one two three four and five because when we execute this loop for the first time, one is less than or equal to five. That's true. That's why it printed one. Then it incremented one value. Now we have num equals to two. So two is less than or equal to five, which is true. That's why we got the two here. And similarly, three, four, and five. Five is less than or equal to. Here we have two condition less than or equal to. So if less than is not true, and if equals to so here equal will be considered over here and that's why we got five printed over here as well okay now when you talk about the while loop just like the for loop we have the control statements over here we have the break we have continue and we have else over here so now let's write a simple example over here using the break okay and we know that break how break works so as soon as the condition will meet it will break the loop okay so simply if i go here if i say if num is equals to three then print okay and here's i will say okay stop the loop because as soon as the condition will meet over here in the if condition it will break so I'm printing this one and I will say it, okay, break. 
when the condition is meet and then in the if statement i will be printing the num over here and at the end i will be keep implementing just like in our previous example so simple num plus equals to one okay and if i run this one so you will see that we have got one two and then stop the loop because one is less than or equal to five true it went into this block and check that one is equals to three which got false that's why it go to the second loop then it checks two is less than or equal to five which is true two is equal to three no that's why it went to the third iteration where it says three is less than or equal to five yes then it went into this particular code of the line and it says three is equal to three yes now break the code you don't need to go to the other iteration because now this particular condition has been met so that's how this break works now we have another thing called continue over here so continue what continue will do is that basically it will skip that particular iteration where the condition leaves okay so let me remove this lines of code from here and simply let's start with zero this time when i say while num is less than five then i will say num plus equals to one and then i'm going to the condition if num is equals to three okay so i will say okay print and here i'm saying okay skip third address okay and now i will be using a continuous statement over here okay and print this one so in this particular case when the condition meets it will skip that particular iteration and then continue okay so if i print num over here you will see that it will skip the third iteration over here so okay so here we need a column and now run again so you see that we got one two and in this particular three is not got printed because here the condition is true and that's why this particular addition this particular addition got skipped and we got this printed over here and then four and five so this is the difference between the break and the continue in this particular while example now we have a third thing which is known as else just like we use as in the for loop we can use that in the while loop over here so let me remove these lines of code from here and here let's take one and i say while num is less than equals to three and i will say print okay and here i will say print num and then num plus equals to one we do increment and then once this condition will be false it will go to the else block over here and then it will say this block of code will be executed so i'll say uh this is else after while loop okay and if i run this one you will see that one two three got printed and then also this else statement got printed now so what is the concept of else so once this will become false the upper part of basically loop will give us false then in that particular case it will go to the else statement so that's how you can work with the else continue and break using the while loop thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial